Hey guys, how you doing? I wanna show you, make a video. A lot of people keep asking over and over and over, although I do have a video about it, but uh, it's probably hidden in like a in couple different videos where I just talked about it so people don't know. And it's the knife making supplies, where I get my supplies for everything. Now, what should we start with? Let's start with the steel first. Steel is the first what you gotta get. And I buy my steel from three different places. Mainly New Jersey Steel Baron. They have great selection and very very good prices uh, of the big stuff, the big steel, big pieces of steel. Second one, what has great selection and sometimes actually on separate single pieces of steel you can find even cheaper is Alpha Knife Supply and so is USA Knife Maker. USA Knife Maker. They both sometimes when you look like you have actually the same exact piece of steel but they have very limited supplies compared to New Jersey Steel Baron but sometimes in, for some weird reason you can have certain certain you know one piece you can find cheaper on, on that website uh, they all have great shipping actually not that expensive especially the Steel Baron considering you know when you get a lot of big steel to the U UPS it's actually not that bad like fifteen dollars for you know forty pounds of steel that I got and stuff like that so that's the steel. Next thing, probably very important, are abrasive, you know, belts for your belt sander. One thing what you want to get is ceramic belts, high grid, you know, rough grid ceramic belts, 30, 36, 40, 50. I, uh, I get 50 because they are a little cheaper than uh, 40 and 36. They cut almost just as well. And actually, if you buy them, there isn't a lot of difference that you see. Uh, actually, what it looks like is like the 50 grid it actually looks like it has more abrasives they are just small than the 36 grid or 40 grid but you definitely want to invest in the belts and buy the ceramics when you're working metal and then buy the aluminum oxide if you're working knife handles if you if you're shaping your knife handles on your belt sander uh, get the cheap aluminum oxide and uh, if you want to sharpen on the belt sander get that silica carbide the black belts what I have you can buy them you know 400, 500, 600, 800 grits. I think even if you get like even thousand, but 600 and 800 are great for just for sharpening, just for finishing. Or if you want to waste them because they don't last too too long, you can polish with them also. But they are great for sharpening. They they gonna put a really wicked edge on the knife right off the belt. And the place to get it is super grit. Very 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 good prices on the on anything abrasive from belts. You know, actually recently I found out that they have really good prices for the sanding drums, the sleeves for the sanding drums. I pay like 50 cents for each. These are the 2 inch high. That's the drums I have, 2 inch high. And until I was buying them in Home Depot, those 4 inch long pieces for uh, oscillating spindles. But uh, these are much better. I mean, I paid 60, about 15, 16 dollars for sets of 2 grids and 5 sizes, you know, on a over there so that comes out four if you cut it in half ten okay you have twenty you have probably twenty pieces of uh, a lot of them are unusable like for example half an inch you're not gonna use for twenty pieces of drums sleeves for sixteen dollars so that's almost a dollar for a piece super grid fifty cents each and these they have different grids and actually the most used grid is gonna be rough that you wanna look for and uh, these are 50 grids and that's perfect for 50 cents some of the smaller ones I actually use the three sizes the most the three quarters an inch and inch and a half three three most most used sizes pretty much the three main sizes you're gonna need for for shaping the handles and you know finger chores and stuff like that so that's that and then last but not least all the other stuff that you need for knife making handle materials, hardware, pins, tubes, pivot screws, standoffs, uh, thumb studs, all that stuff, washers, pretty much everything else that you can possibly think of in knife making, even the epoxies. I actually buy epoxies on Amazon because they have pretty good prices. I buy the System 3 epoxy, two different types always, for the overnight one, the long, long curing one, and then the five minute one. I actually have a 15 minute one, but that one is not all that great. Even the five minute one is excellent as long as the procedure is right if you do it right even the five minute one holds very well sorry so for all these other things in knife making 
you will want to look also again on the Alpha Knife Supply. They have a lot of handle materials, uh, very limited hardware stuff, but a lot of handle materials at great prices. And two main sites for me, what I use, there are a lot of them, a lot of other ones, but what I use is uh, knife kits, great site, great people, and a great selection of a lot of, lot of stuff for Kydex, for everything. And use a knife maker. Again, pretty much just very similar websites, good people, good customer service and good prices, fair prices. And between these, let's say, New, uh, New Jersey Steel Baron, Super Grit, Alpha Knife Supply, Knife Kits and USA Knife Maker. Between these five websites, you're going to find everything you need for knife making, everything. Uh, belt Sander, if you're new into it, I would recommend a small, cheap one, you know, just get that see if you wanna if you enjoy it if you actually ha you know if you have the motorics for it if you if you will like doing that it's fifty dollars uh, the belts are cheap for the 30 by one uh, harbor freight that's also one of the questions that many people ask me I actually have to get mine again because even though I have the big sender I still want to have the small belt sender because a lot of small details it can be done with that fairly quickly a lot quicker than on the big one or a lot more comfortable than on the big one and uh, then you see, you know, if you enjoy it, you're gonna get the bigger one. If not, nothing happens. You know, you lost 50 bucks, 40 bucks for on the small cheap belt sander. Drill press is really nice help. It's a very important tool. I, for a long time, I was using just regular hand drill before I got the drill press. But drill press is very nice, and you can buy them fairly cheap. You can buy oh, cheap drill press for under hundred dollars, and that's exactly what I have. Yes, it's not great, but hey, it gets the job done, and it's all right. Once you once you do the proper techniques, you you are swapping the speeds, you are oiling when you're drilling. It's okay. It will get the job done fairly fairly well. Definitely need the mask. You have to protect your lungs, your eyes. Uh, the vacuum is a good thing. If you have a good vacuum, to vacuum, try to always set the vacuum hose right where you're sending, so it everything sucks out as much as you can. It will never suck out everything. But as much as you can, try to have it set up. And last, heat treating. I don't do my heat treatment. There is, there are ways to do it. There are cheap ways to do it. If you sink cheap carbon steel, you can do it yourself on your backyard. You can buy a heat treatment oven. Me personally, I really want to do the knives as best as I can, and that means sending the heat treat for the professional heat treat, commercial heat treat, and that's Peter's heat treat. They are really great. Prices are you know if you if you do a couple different knives if you make let's say 10 knives it's okay it will run you about 12 bucks for for a knife if you do only four and five it's gonna be more expensive it's gonna be about 25 dollars for a knife but like I said if you go from 10 knives and up it's not that bad also depends on the size if you're gonna do some crazy huge knives it's gonna it's gonna be more but uh, they are great very good people very helpful and very quality work one of the best heat treatment facilities in the states and I highly recommend them highly highly recommend them and uh, I think that's it also why use a commercial heat treat yes a lot of people say that you can just go buy the manual you know you buy the steel they always provide exact shit like you have to do this 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 and that the only thing is what people don't think about it takes very little to mess up the heat treat so you can do everything perfect but let's say you're gonna soak it in for two minutes longer or you're gonna temperature is gonna alter by just a couple degrees and it can actually ruin the heat treatment to the degree that it would be noticeable and money invested in the you know stuff to do the heat treat and everything you're never gonna have a, you're never gonna have cryo treatment on your own you're never gonna get the you know big nitrogen tanks and uh, the canisters to do that never gonna do that so that's another advantage of the commercial heat treat and all these little things it's just not worth it for most people you know unless you're a full time knife maker that is doing you know dozens of knives a week really doesn't pay you trust me you're probably better off a lot better off to pay that extra money for the heat treat unless you do it just for your fun and you wanna learn that heat treat and you're really doing just a couple knives for yourself then yeah, why not? But if you actually want to do it to have really top quality stuff and or try to do the top quality stuff, I recommend paying for the commercial heat treat because you know you have it pretty much guaranteed. There will be no hiccups. You would never be able to do what they can do, 
and hey money invested you know the money you will have to do the your oven or buy your oven and spend the energy to run it and all that stuff and time doesn't really pay up at least that's my opinion I don't know I think many people will agree with me so hope you found it helpful guys hope I put all the information you need here to what to get where and what to do where so hope you enjoyed guys thank you for watching take care stay safe and remember don't cut yourself